What's going on there folks? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this Halloween night, October 31st, 2022. It's about 9.42 p.m. California time. No, I'm getting a little late update out here, but had to do a little bit of trick-or-treating there with the kids. You know, that's pretty important. So just coming back here, pretty eventful. Got uh, quite a bit of candy there for for the kitties. Latest earthquake activity, a 2.8 earthquake here listed on the map looks like that uh looks like off the coast of panama let's double check here and see exactly where this is kicking off at it's not going to let me but uh emsc looks like they're reporting that earthquake on the map there latest activity here from the usgs doesn't show a whole lot of activity kicking up here in this region um and that's a little on the odd side um there's a couple areas that the USGS is not reporting. It looks like quite a few fours kicking up here around the Kermadec Trench and the New Zealand area. Notice that uh, activity ramping up here on the globe. It's kind of uh, pretty important there to per, uh, to, to uh, you know show those earthquakes and the USGS not doing that. They got one earthquake up here. Looks like earlier, uh, about 6.45 or so, 4.6 at 72 kilometers deep, but there's definitely some further activity ramping up there around that area. Around the Java Trench region, uh, a little earthquake activity. Earlier this morning time frame, looks like about 4 o'clock in the morning, 4.3. Really no new renewed activity here around the Western Pacific. The Big Island, not a whole lot of activity. Um, tonight anyway, looks like some scattered earthquakes throughout the afternoon time frame. Up here in Alaska, kind of lighten up a little bit through the Cook Inlet area. Also a little separate swarm. Yeah, that's not even a swarm. 2.0. Up in the mountains here of Alaska. And uh, some typical spotty activity around the plate boundary up there in Alaska. Throughout the Pacific Northwest. Quake here, quake there. Here, quake, there, quake. Everywhere, quake, quake. Nah, a couple earthquakes up there. Nothing big. Okay, Mount Lassen is the one I'm kind of focusing on right now. So they've added a couple more earthquakes here at the Mount Lassen area. Looks like uh, six of them. And earlier, we kind of noticed a swarm of earthquake activity kicking up there at the Mount Lassen seismograph station. And uh, let me show you guys here real quick where we're at. Well, back out of here. This is the Lassen Volcanic uh, area. In Northern California, things are green. Last earthquake act, or at least last volcanic activity was 1914 to 1917. Um, and then prior to that, looks like, uh, there's a date for you, huh? 1666, wow. So I've been up here numerous times and I've definitely seen all of this activity that they mentioned here about the ge uh, geothermal systems. Uh, numerous hot springs, steam vents, and boiling mud pots. All of that is legit. I've seen it firsthand. So there's no doubt we know this uh, is a very active volcano. And um, there's a lot going on below that. A lot of heat. But something that I've noticed here is earthquake activity ramping up in a swarm fashion. Uh, really ramping up. Looks like overnight throughout the afternoon time frame and a little bit more kicking up here this evening time frame now every single one of these specks here are, are an earthquake is an earthquake we see this a lot when we look at yellowstone seismograph stations here but this is a pretty intense uh, earthquake swarm at mount lassen in northern california and uh so far you know i don't know if they're just reporting uh maybe 1.5 and above maybe 1.8 and above but uh looking at this map six earthquakes compared to this map here uh there's definitely a a bunch more than six earthquakes listed up here so something going on around the mount lassen area that i'm sure of um although okay so it looks like maybe within the last few hours things have tapered off they're not quite as intense as what we seen well last night about this time but still earthquake activity nonetheless happening up there at mount lassen and that is situated this seismograph station right here is situated right in this area just to the south of the volcano 
about the south um, yeah the southern flank it looks like and, and the earthquake activity that's occurring up over here um, or listed up on the map is towards the southeast so um, definitely some activity kicking up here whether it's volcanic or not uh, it's something to uh, keep an eye on I did check out some uh, GPS stations here across the area and I do have that listed up here on my thumbnail now um, is mixed in all the other bookmarks that I have here for important sites. Here's Mount Lassen in Northern California. All these blue and red squares are GPS stations out here across the region. So I just want to check out a couple different stations here um, across the Mount Lassen area and uh, haven't really seen any uptick in uh, vertical displacement which would indicate swelling or magma movement uh, coming up from below. Uh, in fact, over the past, you know, 10 years or so, 15 years or so, uh, we've seen a gradual decline in the vertical displacement there at Mount Lassen. And that's one area. There's a couple different areas. We're going to check down here where the swarm is kicking up here. Um, and that's, it looks roughly about the same far as that uh, vertical displacement declining, although it looks like there's little periods here where it kind of upticks and then goes back down. And it kind of looks like we're in a little, see if I can bring this up here a little bit. It, that's big, holy smokes. Oh, I'm sure you guys can see this, no problem. It's huge on this side. Um, 2022, it looks like we're seeing a little bit here around, around our time right now where we're at here in October, end of October, of a little bit of displacement vertical wise but that is it looks like a trend so to speak every oh i don't know every couple months it looks like every month or so maybe it goes up a little bit then goes down but the overall displacement here shows a down trend in the mount lassen area so either way earthquake activity ramping up there and it's um something we'll keep an eye on this is right in my backyard so to speak All right, uh, California earthquake activity. Some movement down here within the last hour, um, just on the Pacific, the uh, North American side of the plate boundary the, there, 1.1, and also around the Marietta area, 0.8. A little bit of movement within the last hour, but generally over the last 24 hours, we've seen an uptick in a couple different areas uh, along the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault and um, some movement up north along the creeping section and into this intersection here of the Calaveras fault zone showing a uh, noticeable increase in activity um, and also of course that movement up around the Mount Lassen area so west coast has def definitely been picking up an earthquake movement and uh, could be pinpointing to something much bigger about ready to brew up here some movement out around the Tonopah Nevada area as well and if you look at this map here uh, most of the movement has come to a, a complete stop over here, aside from the uh, uh, some of that activity we're seeing down around New Zealand. And uh, most of the movement here has been centered around the North American plate and definitely out here around the South America region there where we've uh, seen a little returning of the swarm off the coast here of Peru. A couple fours uh, kicking up in this area, including a 5.1 it looks like uh, in that area earlier this morning, about 6 o'clock or so. Uh, did have some activity out here into the um, Mediterranean region in Italy. Uh, this was a 5.5 earthquake, somewhat of a moderate sized earthquake here for the region. This can get some uh, bigger earthquakes, but a uh, 5.5, fortunately, this was pretty deep down below the surface at about 267 kilometers deep and a uh, pretty deep earthquake. And looking at the historical data here, uh, there's a, a good amount of deep earthquake movement here, specifically around this sea area. Uh, in this area right here where the hand is, uh, west of the epicenter where the star is. A lot of deep earthquake activity uh, in the darker circles. But uh, also note, you know, that there's definitely been some much larger shallower earthquake activity surrounding that deep movement in this area. So it's a pretty complex zone. Uh, throughout this area right here as far as earthquake activity goes and plate dynamics 
A lot going on there for that region. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, Yellowstone National Park. Uh, a couple of earthquakes listed up here on the map. Let's go ahead and see what we got at the Yellowstone region real quick. And not a whole lot. Uh, looks like maybe some wind events kicking up here. Some earthquake activity earlier this morning. But generally uh, over the evening time frame, looks like a little small earthquake activity in that um, in that noise of uh, environmental interference there on the chart. But uh, nothing major going on. Looking at the graphs here, we don't see any uh, major uptick in movement. De definitely nothing like uh, Mount Lassen is seeing. That's some uh, good swarming around there. Trimmer map tonight. Kind of find this hard to believe. Zero epicenters of trimmer. Not a peep or a squeak of trimmer here along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, checking out the Three Sisters Volcanic Area. We're going to check this region southwest of here. I like to always just bounce in every once in a while here and see if uh, there's any swarming or any type of earthquake activity. This is way out of, way out of line, <laughs> way out of focus. Um, it's blown up far as the amplitude goes just to an extent where it's unreadable. So let's see what we got here. There's a little bit better of a view. I'm not seeing any earthquake activity. Let me uh, check a different area up north. And uh, we'll see how it is. This one's kind of blown out of proportion too. It's just kind of, uh, I'm not for sure what's going on. That image isn't found. This one's a little bit more manageable. Amplitude's not so crazy, but uh, yeah, there's I don't see anything, nothing at all in that mix of uh, seismic data as far as earthquake activity. So pretty calm there around the Three Sisters area. Solar weather events. I'm going to do this, and uh, I think we're going to jump off here. Corona hole activity is facing us now, uh, 39, positioned uh, directly facing the Earth. That will amplify some conditions here for the uh, the three-day geomagnetic unrest forecast. Right now, uh, kind of green. We're kind of getting back down to some neutral conditions. But probably after the third time frame, we'll see this uh, ramp up a little bit and maybe see a, maybe see a G1-class storm. We'll see if that uh, is possible or not. Watch for that forecast. Looking at the sunspots. Um, let's look here. Man, these are just not looking all that awesome. I mean, they're sunspots there, obviously, right? But they're not set up for any type of complex events. Uh, maybe around this area right here, far as that uh, magnetic field goes. Uh, this one's kind of looking a little bit different, getting a little bit more growth here on the magnetic structure of the uh, 3131. Uh, overall picture looks like a 55% chance of a C flare, 5% for an M flare. Uh, they do have 3135 listed up here in the red. Uh, 3135 is going to be this area right here. We're getting a little bit of close uh, conjunction there of the uh, polarity of the fields in a couple different spots. Uh, so that makes it a little bit more complex sunspot. Uh, and it has a magnetic class currently of a beta gamma magnetic class uh, and those are uh, gonna get some it's not really nothing to worry about right now here's a little bit better image and this is just our most likely suspect of seeing any type of flaring uh, in that case so it's not really all that big it's not even gonna be that uh, uh, much to worry about 40% chance for a sea flare uh, but again these could evolve and we'll keep an eye on them current real-time solar wind stream um, looks pretty neutral, pretty calm across the BT BZ component there of the interplanetary magnetic field. Density, calm, speed, way down there below the 500 km range. And uh, things are just kind of on the neutral side currently for the solar activity. As you can see here on the Aurora forecast, not a whole lot of potential at the higher latitudes there or the, uh, the southern areas of this beautiful planet we live on. I did see a shooting star. Uh, when I was coming home here to the west, uh, it lasted about about a second. 
and uh, it's kind of yellowish. Not for sure what the, the yellow means or what type of element uh, was associated with that uh, meteor, but it's pretty cool. Pretty neat to see. All right, guys, it's been a long, fun night of trick or treating and some crazy stuff going on. Um, yeah, some of those earthquakes there in the four range. And again, the GeoNet servers are on this map, on this globe. Uh, and the GeoNet, a lot of times, does they do post up a lot of earthquake activity and then take it down. Um, either deleted events or, or whatever it may be. Um, but either way, still keep an eye on that with that renewed movement. I uh, got a 3.3 over here around the Philippines along the southwestern edge of the Philippine plate. Looks like into the Philippine trench there. Looks like things may be starting to want to uh, work its way further around this area. After seeing a, a pretty good pause in the earthquake activity department there around the western Pacific. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. Till then, hope everyone had a good night. Uh, again, happy Halloween out there to those that uh, like to celebrate. I did see quite a few kids out there, a lot of people handing out candy. It's good to see. It's definitely good for the kids to get out there and interact and have some fun. Um, you know, there's definitely nothing wrong with that. I enjoy it. The kids enjoy it. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.